week before Jonathan made his decision, and I was standing with him, and uh, I think it was Alonzo asked me, you know, what do you think? Which way should he go? And my first thought was, doesn't matter. You could end up being, you know, the, the backbone of the future U.S. team or pursue these opportunities right now in Mexico. But you could also tear your knee out and next week you're still going to have a great family. And I said that to Alonzo and I'm sure on his, in his mind it wasn't as important. Uh, but to me, they are the American dream in the sense that uh, Alonzo immigrated. They are two people who've raised two boys. It is obvious from meeting them that they are a uniquely great family. Being a Mexican-American, Jonathan Gonzalez is uh, one of those uh, youth players. Uh, it gives us hope, it gives us uh, faith in that even us, even small Mexican-American children could also reach that level. Sabemos que es algo difícil, pero no imposible. Si no se llega, si Jonathan ya no llega a ir a Rusia, eh, no es el fin del mundo. Yo pienso que eh, este proceso de Jonathan es a largo plazo. Va a ser, uh, hay más competencia. Jonathan tiene muchos años eh, eh, hacia futuro en, en, en portar estos, este uniforme. If he is selected, great. You've worked hard, you deserve it. But if he doesn't get the call up, he's young, he's got a whole life ahead of him. It doesn't stop here, you just need to keep pushing and um, keep showing that you're capable of being there. And we're gonna support him one way or another. We're in it to win it. <laughs> That's it. This morning, as we came into the office, the World Cup rosters started being announced. Um, the big news that we've seen so far, Jonathan Gonzalez not on Mexico's preliminary roster. Right. I don't think Jonathan expected to play at the World Cup in Russia. Sure, he held out dreams. I texted with Jonathan after he didn't make the original roster. He was happy. Not happy that he wasn't selected, but happy for the choice he's made. Because he knows Dennis and the team in Mexico always envisioned him being a part of every level of the system that he was eligible for. So a week and a half later, after the disappointment of not being selected, he's in France playing for the Olympic team because they do see him as the future of Mexico. Well, the Toulon tournament historically has been a great place for a kid who wants to be seen by European scouts and clubs. He is playing on the under-23 Olympic age team for Mexico, one of the youngest players, with 11 other teams playing in front of these scouts so that he can live his dream to go play in Europe. The main reason why I came here was so that I keep developing and, and help my country, my team, win a tournament like it is here in, in Toulon. I think that it's a, a really big tournament. And with that said, uh, there's a lot of scouts here and hopefully making the jump to Europe soon. Everybody just seemed to have this thing, we focus so much on the World Cup that we think the world will end in late July. <laughs> There's a whole world to continue, I mean hopefully. This whole world will continue turning, more soccer will happen in August, September and beyond. Jonathan Gonzalez means a lot for, for these kids and for the kids that are already in clubs in Mexico that are from Alianza. They see hope, they see an opportunity, a real opportunity, not only to, to get the, to play in, in Liga MX professional team, but also to get to a, a national team. I think my goals with El Tri for the few couple of years are going to La Copa de Oro, making that squad and the, the Olympics, and let's say pretty much stay consistent with the national team. Next season, it will be the hardest season for him because he's not the rookie anymore. He has to prove why he's one of the starters. Playing at the Olympics, I think, is a, a dream come true. Uh, I used to always see the Olympics on the TV, and now that I have the opportunity to hopefully make the squad is something that I, I'm really looking forward to.